Hey, Melissa, the Biden administration's economic policy toward China is going to come into view beginning on Monday when the U.S. Trade Representative gives a speech outlining her views and the conclusions from her agency's top to bottom review of China. And I've learned from sources familiar with the matter that in that speech, the U.S. Trade Representative, Ambassador Catherine Tai, will declare that China is not in compliance with the phase one trade deal that was signed in January 2020. Under that deal, China had two years to buy uh, $200 billion in additional U.S. goods over the course of each of those years. And China's purchases have fallen well below that target. What is unclear, Melissa, is how exactly USTR is going to respond to that. In the text of the deal, if one of the parties is found to be out of compliance with the deal, that would open up the potential for additional tariffs or additional actions being taken against the other party. We know that the ambassador uh, has been calling for consultations with with Beijing directly and also with allies over that. It's going to be a critical speech to watch, especially as we near the end of that first two-year period where China will need to make good on those purchases. And now we know the administration will say officially in the most forceful way yet, it has not.